I am I am literally at the point where I, I'm I need to upgrade my phone. I'm about I'm due for an upgrade, and you know I want to I for for me too. I need to get a new phone so I can at least make a new video for this channel because I can't afford to buy all this new text. I got to talk about something. So if anything, I'm gonna do a video on how I made my decision on my next phone. So I'm gonna wait to see what Motorola and LG and um, HTC do, but and as well as let's see the iPhone. I mean, let me see. Pretty much, I've been waiting ever since the iPhone 5 for Apple to try to win me back. So, so people, let me just say right here, Apple is not off the table. Once again, I have not made a complete decision, but I'm waiting to see what everyone else has to say, especially Apple. I want to see how they respond. Because for me, in my mind, the Apple Watch was a failure. Yes, it sold millions and they made profit, but that's not what I'm talking about success. A success as a product and innovation. If they can do that with me, if they can do that with me, they will win me back. So for those of you who act about, who just asked me about what I am hoping to see from Apple, I'm hoping to see a performance upgrade. I want the performance of the new iPhone to be better than the Note 5, not just slightly, significantly better, that they went out and actually improved the functionality. And another 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 win for me is if they, if they actually do plan on doing virtual reality, like Apple VR, then bring me a 4K screen. If you can do that to me, you have just impressed the living hell out of me. Um, the design, I actually liked the iPhone 6 design. I didn't like how Samsung copied them, but I liked how the iPhone is designed. Um, so there's that. And the thing is, I mean, the one negative thing is I really don't like iTunes. I really don't. Because I like the open, I like the open source and freedom of folders and stuff on the Android phones compared to the iPhone. But that's just, yeah. But that's just that's just me there. But so I can look past that if the phone is good. So uh, like things like the Force Touch and finger, I don't really care about that, guys. Um, I'm gonna look for push pushing the the design language, pushing the tech, pushing the performance. And I just want to see that. Yes, I know a lot of people don't care about that. Actually, a lot of you shouldn't really care about the performance because if at the end of the day, everyone's mainly using their phones for social media, YouTube, and getting their news. You're not, you don't, you're not going to need a, a really powerful phone to do that. The reason why I'm focusing on that is it's because I want to, I want to see because the faster we can get these com microcomputers to work f harder and stronger, the easier the portability of virtual reality, um, augmented reality, like the Hololens, can become more portable, and and just in general, our tech can get much smarter and smaller that it can fit into most almost anything. So I am really hoping that they keep pushing the performances because um, everyone always talks about the next model, the next model, but I'm more focused on five years down the line, 10 years down the line, because if the efforts you see them putting in now is gonna reflect on their products later on. So yes, it could be in their R&D, but if they give us little hints of them actually working on this stuff, um, it really excites me. So, I mean, that's why I was an Apple fan early on back in the day, because when they came out and brought out this awesome phone, yes, there were a lot of flaws about it, but they pushed the boundaries of what we should think about devices as. So, I mean, I don't really expect much from the press conference, but I'm waiting for Apple to kind of just bring me that. You know, <sighs> I have hopes in them. I really do. I mean, I don't hate them. I know a lot of people always say I hate them. I don't hate them. It's just... They've been they've been very lackluster innovative lately, and they've just been focusing more on design and selling you the materials instead of the tech. So, I mean, if I'm gonna drop if I'm gonna drop thirteen hundred dollars on some tech, it better be damn well impressive and not offer me a four eighty p camera. I'm not gonna let that down. <laughs> uh, but that's just my opinion, guys. And for those of you who are watching the recording, I like to hear your thoughts on it.